welcome to episode number eight of Abai TV. And as you can see here, my office is in a little bit of disarray, which is driving me a little bit crazy, but for a good reason. The reason my office is like this is because we're getting ready for our second annual Evangelism Boot Camp. And so here behind me, we have a table full of some of the things that will be a part of our boot camp. Now we have Bibles and notebooks and pens and CDs and gospel tracts and registration papers and all kinds of things because in just a few days we'll start to assemble everything and get the church ready for the boot camp which is just over a week away and we're really excited about that. Now the boot camp has taken a lot of preparation. Uh, it's been about a year in the making. Uh, I don't know how Living Waters does it uh, every month during the summer. Uh, it takes us all year to get ready for the boot camp. We're getting ready for preparing for the boot camp, which is taking a lot of work, but also people are coming to the boot camp because they want to be better prepared to share the gospel in their areas of influence and in their communities. Now, we also have one other thing that I want to show you real quick in case you're not familiar with the way the master and haven't seen this yet. Really cool thing that we'll have with us at the boot camp, and we're going to take it out on its maiden voyage before the boot camp comes, but it's our Einstein board. Let me show you this for a second. Kind of a neat tool to use in evangelism. Uh, you can see here a uh, kind of a, a plastic mold of Einstein's head, and there's some questions. You can take the good person test, win $20. Uh, there's some little uh, are you a genius questions there, some clever things. But here's the trick with the Einstein board, and one, what I like about it is as you look at it, it's just a nice picture of Albert Einstein. But if you notice as I move it, Einstein's head is going to turn with it and follow you. So as you walk by the board, uh, you're going to see Einstein following you. Kind of a, a neat little trick there. And look forward to using that and see how God might use that for his glory. Now, anyway, my point here isn't to talk about the boot camp or to talk about the Einstein board. My point is to talk about preparation. Uh, there's been preparation involved in the boot camp. There's been preparation involved in coming to the boot camp to go out and share the gospel. Right now, NFL teams are gathering all across the country for training camp and their preseason games, preparing themselves for the upcoming season. As we talk about preparation as Christians, we talk about abiding in Christ. Now, why is it we abide in Christ? Well, we abide in Christ to develop our relationship with God through prayer, the Word of God, and worship. We develop that relationship with Him. However, we also prepare ourselves through those things for life and to face daily life. Now, my question for us is, are we preparing ourselves? I mean, do we understand what Jesus meant in John 15 when he said, if you abide in me, I'll abide in you and you'll bear much fruit, but apart from me, you can do nothing. Nothing. We can do nothing for the glory of God if we're not abiding in Christ, if we're not preparing ourselves spiritually through prayer, the Word of God, and worship. So this week, I want to challenge you. Daily, prepare yourself for life through prayer, the Word of God, and worship, and abiding in Christ. So thank you so much for joining us this week, and Lord willing, we'll meet you back here next week for another episode. And until then, abide in Christ.